Funds flow analysis Funds flow statement indicates change in liability position and change in asset position between two accounting periods. Balance sheet is asset liability position as on a particular period, as on a particular date. Funds flow it indicates the change in asset position, change in liability position between two accounting periods. Now, whenever funds flow is prepared, it answers the following questions. First, how the funds were obtained and how these were used during the accounting period. Second, whether long term sources were enough to finance long-term assets, mainly the fixed assets. 3. Whether the business entity possesses adequate working capital funds or not. 4. Amount of funds generated from operations of the business. So funds flow answers these questions. And funds flow, it indicates the sources of funds and uses of funds by way of indicating the change in asset and liability position between two accounting periods. Whenever funds flow statement is to be prepared, it is prepared in two stages. So the first stage is preparation of change in working capital and second stage is funds flow statement. So in the given case study, we shall see these two. Here we have two year balance sheet of ABC Limited. Balance sheet for the year 31st March ended 12 and 13. So here we have liabilities, here we have assets. So liabilities, first we have taken the current liabilities, thereafter other than current liabilities. In assets also, first we have taken the current assets, then there we have taken long term assets or current assets other than current assets. So as per procedure, first we shall prepare statement of change in working capital. So in working capital, we take into consideration the current liabilities and current assets. So this information relating to current assets and current liabilities, we pick in next sheet. So here we have current assets, here we have current liabilities and based on this we shall calculate change in working capital. So cash and bank balances they increased from 1000 to 1500. So change in working capital is increased here so increases 500. So here we will record decrease in working capital. So stocks, stocks declined from 11,000 to 9,000. So it is decrease in working capital. Receivables or debtors increase from 9,000 to 12,000. So here we have increase in working capital. Then we have current liabilities. So trade creditors declined from 3,000 to 2,500. So when current liability decreases, it amounts to increase in working capital. So we shall place it in increase in working capital because it is decrease in current liability. So increase in current asset is recorded as increase in working capital whereas decrease in current liability is recorded as increase in working capital. Bank working capital limit outstanding balance increased from 8000 to 9500. 
so the balance has increased so increased in current liability means decrease in working capital so we have placed it under decrease in working capital then provisions provisions are 1000 declined to 500 so there is decrease in current liability decrease in provisions so this decrease will be recorded under increase in working capital now we will add it up so this total comes to 4500 this total comes to 3500 and the net change is 1000 so there is increase in working capital of 1000 so this increase can be calculated from another angle also so here we have current assets of 21000 current liabilities of 12000 it means the difference is 9000 for this year the current assets are 22500 current liabilities are 12500 so difference is 1000 here the difference was 9000 the difference increased to 10000 so increase in working capital is 1000 so first we calculate change in working capital now second stage is to prepare funds flow statement so this increase in working capital it will be included in funds flow statement so here is funds flow statement so we have liabilities here other than current liabilities and we have assets here other than current assets so we have taken this information from the balance sheet provided in this case study so here we have information for 12 here we have information for 13 so increase in liability is a source and decrease in liability is a use increase in asset is a use and decrease in asset is a source this principle we have to follow so long term loan increased from 8000 to 9500 that is 1500 so there is increase in liability so increase in liability is a source so we have placed under source so there is no change here here increase in reserves it is represented by profit from operations so increase in reserves is 2000 so increase in liability is 2000 so we have placed under sources so there is no change in capital there is no change in goodwill there is change in security deposit so a security deposit this is an asset it increased by 500 so increase in asset is use so we have placed it under use plant machinery 500 it increased to 5 7000 so from 5000 to 7000 so increase in asset is a use so we have placed it under use increase in working capital is also a use decrease in working capital is a source so increasing working capital 1000 on the previous slide so we have taken as part of use now we will total it up so uses are 3500 sources are also 3500 and here we find that these are long term sources so increase in long term sources is 3500 increase in long term uses is 2500 increase in working capital is 1000 this mean this firm has funded its long term uses from its long term sources so that is a healthy financial management now in case you are interested to know more to know more about funds flow or more about financial statement analysis related issues you can log on our website you can also call us or you can send email to us thank you for watching this video i hope this benefited you thank you very much